What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday and today we're covering the last starter Pokemon that we have not covered and that is the Prime Arena deck. We've done all the others but have not done this one just yet and today we're going to try it out see is it good as is other as is Cinderella and Decidueye. I mean Decidueye is clearly the best and we saw Cinderella already but does Prime Arena have a chance at all? Wait have we done? I'm pretty sure we've done um Am I crazy? Have we, I think we've done a Cinemore, right? Am I crazy? Um, yeah, we have done. Okay, yeah, we see. We played a Cinemore of Volcanian. That's what we did. All right, making sure. I, like, I thought we played a Cinemore, and we did. All right, so let's go over this deck. This is probably what people say is the worst water Pokemon. Uh, but in the next set, Primarina does get a bunch of new stuff. Uh, featuring the, like, the, you know, the water patch, whatever it's going to be called. You get a water jerk discard pod, attach a uh, water Pokemon, which is great. Um, and let's look at Prime Arena. It has 250 HP. This thing is a tank. Like, it is almost next to impossible to knock out. And what we're going to go for here is Bubble Beat. Uh, Bubble Beat does 10 and does 20 more damage. Tiny amount of water energy attached to your Pokemon, which is fantastic. You're good to go. And you just get a bunch of energies in the field. You get, like, 10 energies in the field. You start swinging for 210. You just start taking knockouts. You have 250 HP. They can't one-shot you. Sometimes they can't even two-shot you, um, because of the stuff in your deck. You have Roaring Seas, which does 120 damage. You discard a J for your opponent's act Pokemon. And Grand Echo is going to be our GX attack. Heal all damage from all your Pokemon. All of them, um, which is fantastic. And I'll tell you why uh, that is. Because you can heal along. And the reason why this is fantastic, because you play Manaphy with the Aqua Tube that makes you can retreat between Pokemon for free. And Rough Seas, which heals 30 for each of your water Pokemon. So what you could do is you could sw start switching between attackers, like switch from Prime Arena to Prime Arena, maybe send a Palkia, maybe do some other stuff. And then you're like, all right, everybody has like 150 damage on them. Let's use Grand Echo and heal like a billion damage, which is fantastic. And that's why Grand Echo is actually a pretty good um, GX attack, especially with a 250 HP Pokemon that's not getting knocked out ASAP. All right, so two and artillery. We're not playing. We're no shamans here today, guys. No shamans. We're playing two and artillery to have some fun. Abyssal land. You have five cards in your hand, and our main starter is going to be Palkia. We want to get a turn two Aqua Turbo. Forty. It's search deck for two water deck cards. Attach them to one of your bench Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards, and this is how we're going to get multiple energies on the field. And you know, of course, Max looks as well. To you search for top six, you find a basic energy. I find a basic energy, and you attach one of your base Pokemon. Not is it? It's not basic energies, is it? No, yeah, basic energy. What I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but basic energy is one of your basic Pokemon. And, of course, the main feed for the free treat, so that way all your Pokemon have are good to go. And uh, you can see, like I said in the last video, why water Pokemon are going to be very good with this water patch coming out. Because combined water patch with Max Elixir and Aqua Turbo, you can get a ton of energies on the field and just start swinging out of nowhere, which is fantastic. Uh, so that's going to be all the Pokemon we're going to play. It's, it's 50 Pokemon, it's... it's it's a good bit, but it does work. Uh, for Diet Ball, because everybody in your deck has water, because you search for water Pokemon. Two Love Ball, which help you get Populo, it can help you get Bryon, it can help you get Rim Raid and Octillery. There's a bunch of stuff you can use with, uh, with the Love Ball. For Max Elixir, try to get as many energies on the field ASAP. Three Rare Candy, so get that Prime Marine out as quickly as possible. It's, it's not really like turn two. Uh, it's not necessary for turn two and like maybe like turn three because you have to Aqua Turbo first and then use Bubble Beat. So it does take a little while to start setting up. Uh, one Super Ride to shell back in three combination Pokemon energies back into our deck. Three Trainer Spell, four VS Seeker, uh, four Rough Seas, which heals 30 for each of your water Pokemon. Like I said, you combine this with Prime Arena's uh, Echo, Grand Echo GX. And, I mean, you just, you're just a healing machine, which is fantastic. Uh, one Lysander, and I end up went with a 3-in, three 3-Sycamore, three because I really, I don't know, just, just want to have some fun today. One Pokemon Simulator, so now, not only do you have Rough Seas, you have Pokemon Simulator, so now you have this 250 HP Pokemon that can, like, do a ton of damage. It's like Waylord, but can do a ton of damage. You have Rough Seas and Pokemon Simulator. You got the Grand Echo attack. Like, you're doing, you're going to be fine. It's going to be really fun. Uh, one Skyla to search for a trainer card, which is really nice to search for, like a rare candy out of nowhere Maybe for a, a dive ball if you're missing a piece to get that primary now turn to maybe a Skyla for uh, I don't know whatever you need to you're good to go and 11 water energy um, You might need a little bit more because you do need like 
like 10 on the field to do 210 and like maybe 11 to 230 and stuff like that but that's a lot of energies that's gonna be hard to do mostly what primer is gonna do is knock out shamans and two shot pokemon which is like the point of the deck and there we go there's my version of primarina palkia um I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play. I think, like I said before, Water Pokemon will have a lot of new mechanics from this Rising Guardian set. I think it's Rising Guardians or maybe the set after. I don't know when Water Patch is going to be printed. As soon as they have, like, you know, the details for the next set, which is Rising Guardians, I'll have a video talking about that, of course, like always. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Prime Marina, Palkia, Octillery, Manaphy. There's a bunch of different Water Friends, and let's see what happens. Alright, so when it gets Bashful Cucumber, uh, looks like they're playing a Volcanian deck, maybe? Uh, that's what it looks like for my end. Uh, so heads, we won the coin flip. Alright, that's good. So yes, I would like to go first. Own our turn. Let's see what is going to happen. Alright, so... Um, we could get Rim Rain, Dive Ball for a Palkia, Water Energy, and in, And hope to hit a Max Luxury. The next to hit a Water Energy and a Manaphy, and be good to go. So put Rim Rain in the Axe Spot. The only downside is Rimmery could get knocked out to a Powder Heater if this is Volcanian, like I'm thinking it is. Alright, so two Pokemon come down with Press Done. And even though it's Fire versus Water, it's going to be a tough matchup. And it is what I thought it was. Alright, so uh, we'll grab a Palkia. Okay. Uh, we have one Primary Prize, and we don't have our Brian either. So grab Palkia. We'll put that guy down, Water Energy, and we will end for New Hands of Sex. And can we find the Populos? And we don't, unfortunately. And our hand is actually not good at all. Uh, we're going to uh, Max Luxor. Okay. Uh, put down the other Palkia, and unfortunately, you just have to pass. All right, that's not good, guys. Okay. Uh, so only to our opponent's turn, like I said, he could knock us out a power heater, but if he doesn't find a power heater play, we're okay. Um, maybe. Probably not. <gasps> Unless he ends us, and we get, a, like, an artillery, a water energy, and some other stuff. So steam up, discarding your fire energy, okay. Does he find... A baby volcano. So this Sycamore discarding a bunch of stuff. Alright, so... Yeah. Puzzle time, Mech. What are we playing against right now? Mega Turbo. What is going to happen? I don't know, but I am scared. All right, so Skype book coming down. What? What is he playing? And his Dax with Shaman set up for uh, one? Okay. What are we What are we going to play against? So another Shaman set up for one. Okay. What is going to happen? What? Is he playing Mega Charizard, maybe? There's Puzzle Time, Mega Turbos, there's a... What is happening? Alright, so Rayquaza, Spirit Link, DCE, Mega Rayquaza, what? What is happening right now? Alright, so oh, my brain is broken right now. What is going on? Alright, so put a Water Energy on this guy. Um, Pass? Okay. Alright, I am still like... 100% confused right now. So pass on our turn, okay? So I'm put a Water Energy in the active, put down Rough Seas, and I'm going to Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. We will discard the Prime Marina, but we do have the Super Rod in our deck. And all right, so we find double Populos, so one and two. We find a Max Elixir, no Water Energies, unfortunately. We will retreat into the Palkia. Um, I'm going to Super Rod right now to shelf back in. One, two, three. And I am going to Aqua Turbo for uh, 80 damage, okay? We can't even two-shot the Flareon th with weakness and stuff. Uh, so put two Water Energies on a Populo. All right, but how do we deal with Mega Rayquaza? I, I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. There's a Mega Rayquaza in the X spot. Um, Puzzle of Times, Mega Turbos, a Flareon. Is Flareon for Decidueye? Like, it, it says, like, Rayquaza deck built to be Decidueye, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but if he doesn't do anything, all I'm going to do is Sycamore, attach some Water Energies, uh, Aqua Turbo again. There's a Puzzle Time. Does he play double? Looks like he's just playing a singular copy, so he gets to rearrange top three cards of his deck. But like I said, we can't even two-shot this Flareon. Yep. Alright, but 240. So for my opponent to 240, he has to hit, like, 
every single like a full bench of eight so there is a palky okay so i'm just gonna sycamore and discard the palky we don't need it that's fine there's a water g rare candy and we didn't find what we want so put down manaphy we will water g a palky and we will awkward turbo for another 80 okay we'll put two water energies on a bench populo okay so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we'll do one fifty, which doesn't knock on a Megaquaza either. So they have what two ten, two twenty. Uh, there's a Daisy to Megaquaza. Okay. A pass on our turn. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive ball for artillery. Hmm. He could blow us up next turn, which is what I'm scared of. So grab artillery. We'll put that guy down. We will Skyla for an Ultra. I mean, for a Dive Ball. Sorry, I was like, Ultra Ball. We don't play Ultra Balls. Uh, we'll grab Dive Ball. Okay. We will Dive Ball for a Prime Arena. All right. Rare Candy into Prime Arena. And I think I am going to. I'm going to Octillery first for two. All right, we'll attach another Water G onto a uh, Palkia. And we'll Aqua Turbo for the Naka. I think we have, like, all of our Water Gs in play, though, that are in the deck. Oh, we have one left. All right, so put water, one Water G on the Octillery. So two, four, six, uh, seven, eight. All right, so there's a Water G and a Brian coming to our hand. Okay. So here comes Rick Claws. All right, moment of truth, guys. What does our opponent have? Does he have Skyfield? Plus six Pokemon to knock us out. There's a Skyfield. All right, time to party. All right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Let's see. So there's a Trainer's Mill. He has to hit an Ultra Ball to grab a Hoopa to Scoundering to go crazy this turn. So there's a Skyla. With the Skyla, he can grab an Ultra Ball to take a knockout this turn because he will grab a, uh, uh, he'll 100% grab a, uh, <clears throat> what is it, a Hoopa. So Skyla, okay. Hmm. All right. So I kind of hope we top deck a uh, Populo so that we can put it down, put a Water Geon, and then VS Seeker for N. Uh, we can rough. <sighs> yeah, we can rough seize this turn as well to get rid of his bench, which is really cool. So Old Squad, go to discard two cards from his hands. Discard a Dragonite and a Super Rod. Um, he is down two puzzles already. Okay. This is good for us. Um, he is down two DCs as well. Just truly active. We also can uh, license under the Volcanian for like two prize cards if we top deck that, which would be really cool. Because like I said, for him to knock out Prime Marina, he needs, actually, he can't even one shot a Prime Marina. Just realize he has 250 HP, so he'll need a Professor Kikui to actually knock it out. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so Hoopa for Shaman, Rayquaza, and Mega Rayquaza. All right, unless he does, he have a crazy turn. Hmm. Um... What today? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, because we get knockout. What am I talking about? So shaman. Uh, so two, four, six, seven, eight. Uh, we'll do one seventy. Okay. Can we find a Lysander? I don't. I know there's not many in our deck, which is unfortunate. There's a VS going to their hand. Have they played a supporter card? I don't think so. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have not. I wonder what he'll grab with the with a VS Seeker. He can grab in. Hax Maniac, Lysander, Sigmar, just an ammo break, okay? So take a knock, I do 180 damage going out of four prize cards, okay? So I'm definitely am going to end him down to low hand size. So send a Prime Arena. On our turn, we find a Lysander. Alright, so put down this guy. We will Water Energy the same guy. Okay. I'm going to Lysander bring up a Volcanian. All right, put down rough seas. Now he has discard his bench, okay. Which he can still knock out man if he next turn. So it's gonna be a very, very scary game, I'm not gonna lie to you. He can still easily win this. Well, Bissell hand for two, okay. I'll uh, put another Populo down. And we will Bubble Beat for the knockout. Uh, if the Volcano wasn't there, we could still hit the Shaman. But I just want to do 340 damage. Who doesn't like doing that? So Sycamore and a Prime Arena. As you see, there is multiple VS Seekers left in our decks. Own to our opponent's turn. 
All right. I mean, he has a Via Secret hand. He can license another the man if you take a knockout. But then we have our own Via Secret to knock out his Shamans, okay? What does our opponent do here? He could Via Secret for in, but that doesn't do anything. I mean, I think we have this, guys. He can't knock out Primer. He has 250 HP. I just realized that. The max that Mega Cross can do is 240. There's a puzzle time, okay? Like, I don't... Okay, so what he could do here is he could double puzzle for a... He actually only singular puzzled, okay? So that's fine with me. And is he going in here? The hacks? I mean, I think we have this 100%. I mean, we've got kind of lucky he got stuck with the flare on, but this is a very interesting version of Mega Rayquaza that I've never seen before. Like I said, he probably plays a flare on to help take out the Sidui, but I think he still have a good Sidui to match up. I have seen Volcanion standard Rayquaza list because you can, um, you can Power Heater, discard a Fire Energy, and then you can Mega Turbo to Mega Rayquaza and be good to go. So it's not too crazy. The crazy thing was definitely, um, the flare on. So we see a Lysander going to his hand. It doesn't matter. Uh, he can bring up whoever he wants to. So Lysander bring up the other uh, Brayon. That's fine. And we'll break for the knockout. Uh, wait, hold on. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, we have enough energies on the field. We'll send a Prime Arena. Um, on our turn, we'll put another Water Energy down for safe measure. We will via Seeker for Lysander. Bring up a Shaman, and we will take this game, and there we go. Took down a Mega Rayquaza deck with our Prime Arena Palkia deck. That is amazing, guys. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know this is only one game I did. Um, did not have a lot of time to record this. I do apologize, but at least we got one good game with the deck. I know we got kind of lucky early when he got stuck with the Flare on the Axe spot, but still, this deck is very fun to play. It's very cute with the Octillery and stuff like that. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Tuesday. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.